Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today's video is a different take on a video you may have seen before. That's if you liked this popular book, try this other book. We're gonna do that, except this is Black History Month edition, part one of two. So if you liked this popular book, try reading this book by a Black author. If you follow my channel, you know that reading diversely is really important to me all year long, not just during Black History Month. And I want to encourage other people to do the same and give people a lot of options because the reality is no matter what kind of books you like, what genre you like to read, what age category you like to read, there are fantastic books out there that are perfect for you and your taste by Black authors. I do want to preface this video by saying that I have purposefully picked some comp titles that are widely read, very popular books. They may or may not be your cup of tea, but somebody's probably going to have read it and loved it, and I want to recommend some books that I think are great. So in today's video, I'm going to have 13 recommendations for you, and then later this month you'll be getting a part two because I had like 20-something books that I wanted to talk about for this, so we're going to split it up into two videos so this doesn't get excessively long. With that said, let's go ahead and start with my first recommendation. So first up, if you liked City of Bones, by Cassandra Clare, you need to try reading Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I think the vibes of these books are very similar. They both have a secret magical underworld. They both have lots of teen drama and angst. They are fast paced. They've got action. They've got like dangerous enemy demon things that you've got to fight against. Except that this one has a black girl as a protagonist and I just absolutely love this. This was a debut novel. If you liked this, you really need to try this. But maybe Cassandra Clare is not really your vibe. Maybe you're a classics reader. I've got you covered. If you liked The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, you should try reading Passing by Nella Larson. This is an interesting pairing because both books were published in the 1920s and are set in New York. But Passing was written during the Harlem Renaissance and it follows childhood best friends who are mixed race and able to pass as white one of them chooses to do so and marries a white man who doesn't know that she has black ancestry and one of them doesn't. And it's very interesting, very messy. They're both short books that pack a punch. So if you liked this, give this a try. If you liked Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, you should try reading So Many Beginnings by Bethany C. Morrow. This is part of a line of books called Remixed Classics where they're having authors of color reimagine or in some way retell classic stories and I thought that this was very good and very interesting. It takes the basic plot points of Little Women but sets it in the American South following a black family. I thought it was really good, really smart, definitely worth a read. So if you liked Little Women, check out So Many Beginnings. If you liked Dune by Frank Herbert, then I think you should try The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Both books are epic in scope and require some amount of patience. I know that not everybody who loves The Fifth Season will love Dune, but I kind of think that anybody who loves Dune will love The Fifth Season. So I, I mean, obviously I'm biased. This is my all-time favorite adult sci-fi fantasy series. I also love Dune, but seriously, if you like Dune, you really should give the fifth season a go. And the level of world building and character development and thematic content to the series is just phenomenal. I think it is going to be the classic series of our generation. If you liked The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, you might try picking up Kindred by Octavia Butler. This follows a Black woman living in Los Angeles in the 1970s or 80s who is transported in time and place to where her ancestors were enslaved. And it is very interesting. I will say it's dark, it's brutal, it deals with some difficult topics, but I think if you find this idea of memory or living across time or how we shape our identity in those ways interesting, if those were some things that you liked about Addie LaRue, you might like Kindred, and Octavia Butler is another one who is just brilliant. Okay, my next recommendation is actually based on a book that I didn't love, but I think people who love this book will probably like the book that I'm going to recommend. So if you liked The Gunslinger by Stephen King, you should try Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. Both of them are books that have some material that is difficult to read in terms of explicit content and like 
traumatic content, so I feel like if you can deal with it in The Gunslinger, you can probably deal with it in Black Leopard, Red Wolf. I liked this better, probably because it's a more literary take on fantasy, and I think that the ideas it's unpacking are really interesting. But if you liked The Gunslinger, you really should give this one a try. It's an African-inspired literary fantasy story that I can't say too much about, but it's intense and people kind of love it or hate it. So maybe give it a try. If you liked We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, you should try reading Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iamide. Both of them are YA thrillers with a lot of juicy drama and secrets and messiness to them. I loved this. This has been kind of pitched as Gossip Girl meets Get Out, and I think that is kind of accurate. I do think that we over attribute Get Out these days to books, but I think that in this case it kind of works. One of my favorite books of last year, I really loved it, and I think if you like the YA thriller vibe of We Were Liars, you would probably get on pretty well with this as well. My next recommendation is for middle grade readers out there. If you liked Nevermore, The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend, then you should try reading A Kata Witch by Nettie Okorafor. Both of these are whimsical, imaginative fantasies that have a real world and an alternate reality that the main character is being introduced to, and also do a pretty good job of handling difficult topics in a way appropriate for a younger audience. I will say Kata Witch reads slightly older than Nevermore. This is more really targeted at your 8 to 12 crowd, whereas A Kata Witch is like the high end of that into early YA, but I feel like if you like this, you really should try this. Next, I have another classic recommendation for you. If you are a fan of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, you should try reading Pride by E.B. Zaboy. This is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice set in modern day Brooklyn and it deals with gentrification. I really loved it. One thing that I will say about this is this is maybe less for fans of the movie version of Pride and Prejudice, which I think focuses more on the romantic elements of the story. There is a romance in here, but focuses more on the romantic elements of the story. Whereas if you've actually read Pride and Prejudice, a lot of it is about class differences and unpacking the social dynamics of that. And that is where Pride, I think, really shines, is this does an amazing job of reimagining in a modern context these questions of class and the assumptions that are made based on class. So if you're a fan of especially those social commentary elements of Pride and Prejudice, you really should try Pride by E.B. Zaboy. If you liked Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, you should try reading The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I know this is kind of a polarizing book, but I feel like people who like Mistborn would probably also enjoy Rage of Dragons. They both have really unique magic systems that are well developed. They're both pretty political and have a lot of action and deal with rebellion, have some similar themes to them. So I feel like if you like the Era 1 Mistborn books from Brandon Sanderson, you have a pretty good shot of enjoying Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. Two more recommendations for this video. If you liked The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, you should try reading The Deep by Rivers Solomon. I feel like both of these books are short. This is a short novel and The Deep is a novella that pack a punch and they both deal a lot with memory and growing up and how we work through the trauma of our past. But in this case, it has black mermaids who turned into mermaids when they jumped overboard during the Middle Passage, enslaved African persons on their way to America. And it's intense. It's really good. They're both really emotional and dark, and they both use speculative elements to talk about real world things. So I feel like if you like this, you're probably going to like this as well. My final recommendation for this video, although don't worry, part two will be coming if you need yet more recommendations. If you liked The Selection by Kira Cass, you might try reading The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I will say this is a much darker book, but I feel like in some ways they have a similar vibe. They're both sort of dystopian books with a pretty mirage in front of it. This one is more heavily fantasy, whereas this is more dystopian. And, and again, this deals with some like darker themes and has more intrigue. But I feel like if you like the selection, 
you'd probably get on well with the bells as well. So there you go, some recommendations based on really popular, widely read books of books by Black authors that you might want to try picking up this month and put on your TBR throughout the rest of the year. Like I said, there are so many amazing books coming out by Black authors, and it's not that hard to diversify your reading and still read the kinds of books that you love. You might notice that nothing on this list was like The Hate You Give or a nonfiction title. There are things out there you can go find them if you want to, and there are some great books in those more contemporary or nonfiction categories, but you can also find amazing speculative fiction and historical fiction, things that are just really fun and enjoyable to read but are going to introduce you to ideas and people and places that may be outside of your own experiences. So I hope all of you will go and check out something. If something caught your interest here, you saw a comparison to a book that you read and really enjoyed, that you'll go check out the book I recommended. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, I would love to hear one of your recommendations. If you were going to pair a popular book with a similar book by a Black author, and there, you know, like there are some of these are relatively popular on their own. There are popular books by Black authors, but I wanted to look at some of the most highly read books not by Black authors and give a comparison. So give me your suggestions in the comments down below and stay tuned for part two because I have more recommendations coming your way very soon. If you all like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.